suppose we have a data set that consists of the data values 2, 8, 12, 7, 9, 14, and 20. We could find the mean for this data set, and that might be a good measure of center. And we remember from the last video that the mean is found by adding up all the data values and dividing by the number of values in the data set. And when I write x bar, I'm implying a sample mean. So if this data right here came from a sample, would we be appropriate that I would use this symbol for the mean? So if I add all these data values up, I'd get 72. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 data values here. And so that mean would be 10.3 if I round to one decimal place, as would be appropriate when I have a data set that consists entirely of whole numbers. Round to one more decimal place than occurs in the raw data. Sometimes a better measure of center is the median. And there are two ways that we would find the median depending on the data set itself. First of all, we would need to order the data set. So from smallest to largest, if we ordered this data set, we'd have 2, 7, 8, 9, 12, 14, and 20. If we have an odd number of data values, so an odd numbered data set, the median would be the middle value of the ordered set. Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven data values. And so the fourth one would be the one in the center. Counting from the bottom up or the top down, we'd have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It occupies that fourth position counting from either direction. So for this data set, the median would be nine. But let's suppose that we had one more data value in there. So let's take that set, 2, 7, 8, 9, 12, 14, 20, and let's say 22. Let's throw 22 in the group. Well, now we have an even-numbered data set. So there is no middle data value. Whenever that's the case, we find the average of the middle two values. And that will be our median. Whenever we have an even numbered data set, which we have here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight data values. Well, counting from the bottom up, the fourth one would be nine. Counting from the top down, the fourth one would be 12. So the median would be the average of those two. Nine plus 12 over two. So 10 0.5. And an interesting point then about the median is that it doesn't have to be a value that is actually in the data set. So in this case, the median would be 
where in this case, where we have this odd numbered set of data, the median is 9. 